Hi everyone, I'm Kerry and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this dog with a bone. For this project you'll need four colours. The main colour, I've used brown today. White for the bone and the outer eyes. Black for the nose and the inner eyes. And a pink or red for the tongue. So we'll get started. We're going to start with the head and the main colour, which I'm using a slightly different brown today. And we make a magic loop. So yarn around as if we're going to start for a chain and bring it through. Then we'll do three chain and we're going to work 14 double crochet into the circle. A double crochet is yarn around into the circle and pick up a loop, yarn around, take off two, yarn around, take off two. So 14 of those. When you've done your 14 double crochet, you grab the tail and pull it as tight as you can so you've got a closed ring. And then slip stitch into the third of the chain. So hook into the chain, pick up a loop and pull it through the two stitches. For the next row, we're going to start with three chains. And we're going to work a double crochet into the same place as the three chain. And then into each double crochet around we're going to work two double crochet. So yarn into the first double crochet and work two double crochet and into the next we'll work two double crochet and so forth right around. So I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we'll do a slip stitch into the third chain, same as last time. So in, pull through a loop through the two. For the following row, the third row, we do three chain. Into the next two stitches we'll work one double crochet into each. So double crochet to this stitch, double crochet into the following stitch and the following stitch will work two double crochet. And we'll repeat around one in each of two and then two in the following. So I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we do a slip stitch into the third chain. The fourth row is the same as the third row. We do three chain, a double crochet into each of the next two double crochet from the previous round. And then two double crochet into the next. So we'll repeat that all the way around one in each of two and then two in the following one till the end. So I'll see you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we'll slip stitch into the third chain. 
and that's the head. We're going to start on the ears now. We're not going to fasten off, we'll just continue on. So we'll do three chain and then work five double crochet over the next five stitches. The next row we'll do three chain and then turn. We'll be working into the back. We're going to do a decreased double crochet or a joined double crochet. So yarn over into the first stitch and pick up a loop. Yarn over and take off two. So we've got two stitches left on our hook. Yarn over into the next stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over, take off two yarn over through the last three. Then we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch and we're going to do another decrease double crochet. So yarn over, in, pick up a loop, yarn over, take off two and have two remaining. Yarn over into the last stitch and pick up a loop, yarn over, take off two, yarn over, take off the three. And we're going to do three chain, yarn over, and we're going to do another decrease double crochet into here. And then into the next two stitches we'll do another decrease double crochet. So two decrease double crochets over our four stitches. Into our final row, we're going to do three chain and turn and do a decrease double crochet over the two stitches. And then we're going to fasten off. So cut our thread and pull the yarn through the loop. It looks a bit strange but it, it's going to flop down like that so it will look fine. Now we're going to miss 10 stitches and then into the 11th we're going to start our following ear. So we'll start with three chain and then five double crochet into the next five stitches, each of the next five stitches. I will have my pattern up on the website and I've got a link, link down in the description for you to look at. And this, this is going to be worked exactly the same as the last. So three chain. A decrease double crochet. Double crochet and then another decrease double crochet into the next, next two stitches. And the following row is two decrease double crochet. And then decrease double crochet over the remaining stitches and fasten off.
and that's your dog head and ears and that just bend down like that next I'm going to make the muzzle I'm going to work four chain into the third chain from the hook I'm going to work one half double crochet a half double crochet is yarn around pull up a loop through the chain and yarn around and through all three then I'm going to work a double crochet and a treble a treble is yarn around twice in through the chain and pick up a loop yarn around take off two yarn around take off two yarn around take off two into the second chain the last chain on the of your chains I'm going to work one more treble a double crochet half double crochet and then two chain and slip stitch into the same that same stitch I've been working into and then I'm going to turn it a bit and I'm going to work into the chain at the back here and I'm going to work slip stitch into there work two chain a half double crochet a double crochet and a treble And then into the second chain I'm going to work a treble, a double crochet a half double crochet two chain and slip stitch into the same spot and that's finished so I'll fasten that off and that's, that's what it looks like next we're going to make the paws I'm going to start with eight chain And I'm going to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook and then I'm going to double crochet in each of the other stitches so the four more stitches so we'll have The three chain and five double crochet into these stitches for the second row we'll do three chain 
and we're going to do one double crochet into each. So we'll have the three chain and five double crochet. Following row, we'll do three chain, and we're going to work a joined double crochet over the next two stitches. Three chain, and we're going to do a slip stitch into where our last double crochet was. And that's the, the first of the little claw bits. And we're going to repeat that slip stitch into the next stitch, three chain. A joint double crochet over the next two stitches. Three chain. three chain a joint double crochet over the next two stitches and three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the last double crochet and then we fasten that off. And that's our little, little paw. We'll make another one the same. Now I'm going to make the tongue. It's a magic loop. Three chain, and a joined double crochet into the magic loop. Just like that. And then pull the magic loop tight and fasten off. going to make the whites of the eyes next. That's the outer eyes, so I'll make a magic loop. Two chain and into the loop I'm going to do eight double cro eight half double crochet. So yarn around, pick up a loop from the circle, yarn around, take off all three. So eight There's our eight half double crochet, so we pull the loop as tight as we can and slip stitch into the second chain. And we'll have to make two of those, of course. Now, our winner eyes are black. So we'll do a magic loop again. One chain and five single crochet into the loop. A single crochet is pick up a loop 
yarn round and take off two. So five of them. Pull tight and join with a slip stitch. And we'll need two of those as well. So that's a smaller loop. And just fasten off. Now we're going to make the nose. So a magic loop again. One chain, one half double crochet, a double crochet, a treble, a double crochet, another treble. Double crochet, a half double crochet, and then we'll pull it tight and slip stitch. your little nose. Cut that one off. We only need one nose of course. It's got a flattish side and a more pointed side. Now for the bone we'll start with 25 chain. We'll miss the first chain and we'll do a single crochet into the following one. And now we're going to single crochet right along our chain. So over the 24 chain. So I'll do that and I'll see you at the end of the row. And once we've single crocheted across all the chain, we do work four chain and we're going to do a three, a three treble cluster. So we put the yarn around twice, we work in there at the end of the single crochet yarn around, take off two, yarn around, take off two, round twice again, we've still got two left, two loops left on the hook, yarn around, take off two, twice, so now we've got three loops left, yarn around twice, in, pick up another loop, yarn around, take off two, yarn around, take off two, now we've got four loops, so now we go yarn around and pull through all four loops. We're going to do four chain and we're going to slip stitch into this same spot. There. So that's one side of the end of the bow. Now we're going to do four chain and we're going to do 
another three treble cluster into this same spot. And then we'll work four chain, slip stitch into the same spot where we've been working our clusters. And now we're going to work single crochet in the back of the chain. I'm going to catch my, my ending there, crochet it in. So just in there, all along the row, to each stitch we'll crochet a single crochet. Like that. So I'll go along to the end of the row working single crochet and I'll see you there and we'll do the other knobs at the end. When you get to the end of the row, you'll do four chain and a three treble cluster into the stitch in the middle there. Just the same as we did the other end. Four chain, slip stitch into the same stitch, another four chain, and another three treble cluster. four chain and slip stitch into the same space and also slip stitch into the beginning of the row. Now for the edging around the bone you could either work in single crochet or half double crochet. Today I'm going to work in half double crochet so I'm going to do two chain and then half double crochet in each stitch around. The straight bits but around these curves I'm going to work two half double crochet in each stitch just to to make it flatter if I only worked one it would pull it in right, so I'll do that and I'll come back now there's my bone finished now we're going to put the dog together Firstly, I'm going to sew the eyes together. So I'll start with attaching the black part to the white. On each of those. Just sew the black part down towards the bottom and just attach it. Sorry, I'm a, my sewing is quite awkward. Just need a few stitches to hold it on. Just like that. And 
and then you'll attach the other one the same. For the muzzle and the nose, you'll attach the flat part just, just in like that. Be far better at stitching them together than me. It's not my strong point. Then flip it over and you've got your nose. Nose attached. And at the other end, I just push my yarn through. And I'll attach my tongue. The tongue goes in there. And then dot that off. I'm now going to attach the nose and muzzle to the dog, to the head. The nose goes just over the the hole, the center part, and the tongue will go down the center and just peek off of the end. The eyes go just to either side of the nose, like that. And I'll probably just put a stitch at the end of the ears to hold them down. I'll do that and then I'll come back. Now our dog's going to look something like that. First we'll stitch the paws on and then we'll stitch the dog to the bone. So I'll start by stitching the paw in about there to the first join. The, the top row will be under the dog's head. stitch through there and then I'll just turn it over and stitch it in just in there just to make it a bit more secure Finish this one and I'll also stitch on on the other paw and I'll come back. Okay, I've got the paws on. Now I'm going to stitch it on to the bone, just like that. I'll stitch across the, the front and then I'll turn it over and stitch the back just to secure it more. I'll do that while I'm not filming and I'll come back. Now that's the dog finished. If you've enjoyed my video, please subscribe and like. 
and I'm hoping to get about two new videos put up each week. And that's all for now, so I'll see you next time. Bye.